Welcome back to Pride Fit. Today I'm doing a 2022 Gymshark clothing haul. Let me say this, I was so excited to do this clothing haul. Gymshark is super trendy, it's inexpensive, it's worn by tons of really great athletes. But my experience with Gymshark so far has been extremely lackluster. Let me tell you a little bit about it. So I placed my order, I ordered 12 items, four of them were correct, two other ones came but they were the wrong sizes, and the rest of them were nowhere to be seen. You can check out me figuring out that I only got half of my order in this video. Am I missing some things? Okay, I don't think I can do this video yet because I thought that I had everything but it seems like I'm missing like half of my order. And I'm almost sure there's something in here that is not, that I didn't order. So yeah, definitely did not order this. It's a medium, I also would never. Okay, we're gonna have to try this again later. Okay, so I wasn't super pleased about that, right? It is not the best look when you're ordering clothes for the first time, you're really excited about it, and then half of your order just doesn't show up. Was not happy. I talked to customer service, they got it figured out, and now we are a month later from me placing that order, and I can finally do this video, and I'm really, really excited to dive into the clothes that I got. Hopefully they are great. I've only tried on like two things so far from the last time I tried to record this video, so now it is time to jump into our Gymshark clothing haul 2022. Let's do this. We are starting off today's review with the Crest shorts. So this is one of the items that I received initially and it was correct. Uh, I think these are really great. I think that they are absolutely not something that I would wear out of the house, but as a lounging short, they are a nice thicker material. They're super soft on the inside uh, and they're pretty cheap. So I would say a yes for the Crest short. This is a shirt that I absolutely did not order. They just sent it in. So I wanted you to see it. Nice, big Gymshark logo on the front. Ooh. Moving on. This is the Crest long sleeve t-shirt in black. Uh, I don't mind the logo, it's pretty small, but the material of this is very much just a t-shirt, right? So in terms of it being a little bit lower cost, it kind of makes sense because the material feels a little bit cheaper. The sizing is a little weird. This is a small, I feel like down here, it's a little too wide and a little too baggy. It's just like a standard t-shirt. I don't think that I'll be keeping this one. Nothing offensive about it, but just nothing special either. Moving on to the black shorts from Gymshark. These are a size small. There's nothing fancy about them. They're a super thin material. There's no liner. These are fine. I have shorts that I absolutely like more than these, uh, but if you need a cheap shorts option, these would absolutely be a viable choice. This is the smoky gray t-shirt and they also gave me the smoky gray t-shirt in medium first. So I had to get a different size and this initial one has a little stain on it. What to say, you know, I think the shirt is fine. It's a little bit more of an athletic material than the long sleeve t-shirt I was just wearing. So I would wear this to work out as opposed to the long sleeve t-shirt. I think it would just get heavy because it's very cotton. I think it's kind of the same problem though. It's a little uh, wide at the bottom. I don't think the fit is totally correct, especially for a size small. I've usually been hovering between a small and a medium and I've noticed for Gymshark, definitely, I guess I'm hovering between like an extra small and a small, uh, which is a little odd. But I probably will not be keeping this shirt. Again, it's a cheaper shirt, but you can tell by the shape and the feel of it and the material that it's not necessarily the type of t-shirt that I would wanna be wearing to the gym. These are the Critical 2.0 joggers. And these were the first item that I opened up initially from Gymshark. They're nice joggers, they're a little thin. I don't think that I would like really wear them to the gym. And here's what I'll say. I have joggers that I like so much more than this. They are just fine, right? I think that the material is super thin. I would never wear these to the gym. And you can just tell that they're really cheaply made. It was when I first got the notion in my head that, oh, Gymshark is like the H&M of athletic clothes. And I kind of hate that. I hate that H&M is about like, okay, it's trendy, yes, but you're gonna wear it like three times and then it's gonna wear out, right? And then you're gonna throw it away and that's such a waste of clothing. So I would say a no to these joggers. It's kind of in my general theme of like, I'm not sure if I'm a big Gymshark fan. We gotta try on the rest of the clothes, but these were kind of like, Oh, I just wish that they were a little bit of a thicker material. 
And then you add on top that we had so many problems with supply chain and you're like, okay, well, they're inexpensive, but like at what cost, right? So that's just my two cents with it. This is the Bold Drop Arm Tank. Oh yeah, I really thought I was gonna like the cut of this. Um, again, it's just a little too wide, especially for a small. The color is fine, the cut is fine. It's just like a normal cutoff that you would make yourself. Here's the kicker. Definitely not a fan of a giant ass Gymshark logo on the clothes that I'm wearing. It's like, yeah, this is fine, I don't care, right? But like, Gymshark. Nope, absolutely not. And the other tank that I got that I thought I was really gonna like, by the time that I talked to Gymshark about the order being messed up, they were sold out of that one. So this is the only tank that I got for Gymshark. I will not be keeping it. I absolutely will not have that giant ass logo on my back while I'm working out. Just why? I Okay, these are the Crest Joggers in black. And I have to say, the Crest shorts and now the Crest Joggers are really the only pieces of clothing from Gymshark that I'm like, oh yeah, these are really good. Um, it feels like the quality of them is good enough that I would be able to wear these for like months, not just like weeks. And I can definitely imagine me putting these joggers over a pair of shorts, going to the gym, doing my squat warm up, and then when I'm nice and warm, taking these off. I, they're definitely unoffensive. The, tiny logo there is fine, right? Um, I think these are a great pair of inexpensive joggers. These are the Arrival 5-inch shorts in smoky gray. These are fine. Um, you know, hard pressed to find a 5-inch short that I don't like. So, you know, big fan of the length. Uh, the color is fine. Again, it is that thinner material that we felt in the black pair of shorts that I tried on, but these would be absolutely fine if you just need a lightweight short for running. I guess you could do some like, you know, lifting in them, it, it's fine. They're a little baggy for what I would wear to the gym, I would say, but running, I mean, that's kind of what you're looking for. So I'd say running, yes, lifting, probably not. Okay, just a few accessories left. These are the comfy rest day socks. They're fine, they're socks. I would say they are too long. <laughs> Why did they make them so long? Even when you like crunch them down, you're like, oh yeah, that's a lot of material. I don't really need that, but they're just fine. Next, we've got the Gymshark no-show socks. I wear a lot of no-show socks at the gym, um, and these are actually really good quality. They feel like they're really tugging my foot. Like, the heel isn't going to rip off when I'm doing any of my lifting or any of my HIIT workouts. Uh, they've got a nice rubber in the back of them. I think these are great. I would definitely recommend the no-show socks. And then lastly, we have the Gymshark boxers. So uh, I would say I really actually like these. They're a nice thin material. They're kind of perfect for the gym. They have enough support, but they're not like too heavy. And I have a whole video on my favorite boxer briefs or briefs for the gym. And I'd say, honestly, if I were to try these on for that, they would have made the list for sure. I, I think the material's good. They're super light, super breathable. So I would say yes for the Gymshark boxers. And that concludes our Gymshark clothing haul review for 2022. Here's what I'll say. Gymshark absolutely has inexpensive athletic clothes that are trendy, although I did not end up liking uh, the styles of the clothes that I picked out. That being said, I, nine times out of 10, would pick shopping less at a more expensive clothing store than shopping more at a less expensive clothing store. Just from a sustainability perspective and also from the perspective of, I think that Gymshark kind of cuts corners when it comes to the shape of their clothes. Obviously, they cut corners with their supply chain and, you know, all of these things add up, right? But adding up the time and the annoyance of having to go back and forth with their customer service team, I absolutely would have just ordered from another company. I probably won't be ordering from Gymshark again, at least not anytime soon. Hopefully they get this figured out. I know they are growing super, super quickly. Um, so I hope that they are able to prove me wrong. But for this clothing review, I would say, stay away from Gymshark, but that's just me. If you have any brands that you are really dying for me to do a clothing review of, don't forget to leave me a comment below with those brands or send me a DM on Instagram. Uh, but otherwise, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you back next time. See ya.